Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformations tutorial. Today we're going to talk about um, how to find the equation of the image of a curve after uh, some sort of transformation. So we originally um, have a line and now we're going to transform it by reflecting it in the x-axis and we're going to see what the image is what the equation of the image is so let's talk about how to do that so um, let's write out firstly the transformation equation okay so we have a b c d times x y equals x dash y dash okay this is the original point this is the image and this is the transformation matrix okay now firstly we want to know what the transformation matrix equals for reflection in the x-axis so if you guys remember how we can get that is we draw on the Cartesian plane, um, let's draw the first point, which is 1 located at x is 1, y is equal to 0. And the image of that is at 1, 0 as well. So A and C is going to be 1, 0. Okay, if you're not sure how I got that, make sure you go back and have a look at our last tutorial but basically because our first point 1 0 transforms to um, 1 0 the result of that x dash y dash so x and y is 1 and 0 x dash y dash goes into a and c of our transformation matrix now the second point which is located here at 0 1 now the image of that is located at um, 0 negative 1 and these are the two numbers we fill in in um, B and D so that's 0 negative 1 so this is the transformation matrix for x-axis reflection now if you want to test it um, you can try testing it on random point let's say we want to test it on um, 1 2 okay so 1 times 1 is 1 0 times 2 is 0 so that's 1 and then 0 times 1 is 0 negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 so if the original point is that 1 2 which is over here the image is going to be negative 1 sorry 1 negative 2 which is over here so yep it has been reflected in the x-axis so the transformation matrix a b c d is equal to um, 1 0 0 negative 1 that's our transformation matrix okay so once we have that we can now put that into a b c d so we got 1 0 0 negative 1 times x y is equal to x dash y dash now what's happening is we have our original equation which is y equals 2x plus 3 okay so we have y equals 2x plus 3 that is our original equation that relates x and y together so we if we're given x we can find y and if we're given y we can find x and now what's happening is we want to know what y dash is in terms of x dash okay what do I put in front of x dash and after x dash so that I can get y dash so how do we find it well basically we need to rearrange this equation so that we get an expression for x in terms of x dash and uh, 
y dash. And we also get an equation for y in terms of x dash and y dash. And then we can substitute it into this equation. And then we will get an equation which only contains x dash and y dash. So in other words, we want to know what x dash, what x and y equals from this formula. So we're going to move this matrix on the other side which makes it the inverse. So the inverse of it multiplied by x dash y dash. Okay and how do we find the inverse of a matrix? Hopefully you guys haven't forgotten so I won't go through the details. So basically it's 1 over um, a times D minus B times C so that's 1 over negative 1 and then inside the matrix I've um, changed positions between these two um, numbers and I also make the other diagonal negative which is just 0 again so times by x dash y dash and then I will reverse the sign of everything in the matrix because I have negative 1 at the front so it's um, times by x dash y dash and then I will get uh, 1 times x dash and then I will get negative y dash Okay, so what do I have? I have x, y equals x dash negative y dash. So then x equals x dash and y equals negative y dash based on this equation. You probably could have figured it out just by looking at it, but anyway, this is how you're supposed to figure it out. So x equals x dash, y equals negative y dash. We can now substitute these two equations back into our formula over here. So I can put in, instead of y, I can put in negative y dash, right? Because y is equal to negative y dash. So I can put that over here. And then I have 2 times x is equal to x dash. So I can put that over here and plus 3 just remains the same. Now I want to know what y dash equals so I have to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative so I have negative 2 x dash uh, minus 3. Right because this whole side is multiplied by negative 1. So this is the equation Okay, now let's draw the two curves and see if they have been reflected in the x-axis. Just going to draw it in GeoGebra so it's a bit quicker. So the first curve is y equals 2x plus 3. So let's draw that. y equals 2x plus 3. And then if I reflect it in the x-axis, the image that I get is negative 2x minus 3. So y equals negative 2x minus 3 and indeed it is a reflection in the x-axis of my original curve. Alright so this is the answer. This is the image of my curve after the transformation. Okay thanks for watching guys. See you next time.